Like it uh, how to talk to kids about COVID-19. And you know, one of these names might be really familiar hmm. to Good Day viewers. Hmm. Cody's got the details. Hey, Cody. Indeed, it's called Anna and the Germ. We were joined by the authors right here. We have licensed marriage and family uh, therapist, Helene Van Sant Klein, and licensed personal friend of mine, Christine Klein, <laughs> uh, joining us right now. Um, this is a weird time for everybody, but it must be really difficult for little kids. So what, what did you guys do with the book and what was the idea to help talk to kids? Well, I, I'm a mom of a two-year-old little girl, and I couldn't figure out what we were going to say to her about what's happening in the world. And I heard from friends and family that are parents that are dealing with the same thing. Their kids are out of school. They're missing their friends. Their entire world turned upside down. So, you know, we, we have books for potty training and, and children's books for that, but there was nothing for this because it was so new. And so I called my mom, who's a therapist, as you mentioned, who's amazing with kids, and said... I want to do this, but I wanted to make sure we didn't just talk about the feelings that we had, the next steps, those tools to help mm. people cope. And she immediately jumped on board and we were off to the races and, and just worked really hard to get this out so that people could use it. Your mom is great with kids. You turned out all right. So we can get <laughs> proof of the pudding right there. Uh, Thank okay. You. Okay, Lee. So t teach us a little bit. How do we talk to our kids about this? What, how do we broach the subject? Well, first of all, the first thing I'd like to tell everybody is that it's important that you control your own anxiety as parents because children mm. are little sponges. They will, they will mm. absorb your irritability, your anger, your anxiety, your fears, and they'll carry that and they won't know what to do with it or have the verbal ability to talk about it. And so you may see it in more how they acted out and more regressive behaviors. So it's really important that you pay attention to what's going on for you first and foremost. And then some of the things that I would suggest too would be to make sure that they stay in contact with their loved ones if they can, mm -hmm. like it virtually through, you know, through FaceTiming or whatever, if they miss their grandparents or their little friends, um, be able to, to discuss things with them, talk to them, find out what they know, limit their exposure. I hate to say this to the news and TV and some of the negative stories that they're going to hear from other people. Um, but ask them what they've heard and validate their feelings. If you see that they're looking fearful, really acknowledge that and, and reassure them. They will look to you as parents to feel safe. And mm -hmm. the most important thing that you can do for them is to provide them with a sense of safety. Um, you wow, also I feel like I owe you something for this therapy. That was amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah. We've got to go. Uh, Christiane, uh, tell them how they can get the book, where they need to go. They go to the website, www.thegermbook.com. We've also got other free resources for kids. We've got coloring pages based on the book, a perfect hand-washing song that's exactly 20 seconds long. It's adorable. We'll get in your head all day. And all of those tips that my mom just mentioned, too. So thegermbook.com. It's com. available on Am Amazon now. Okay. Thank you both. It's so good to see both of you. Good to see uh, you. Christy yeah. and Fine, I miss you terribly. Mwah. Uh, Christian oh, Klein, of course, too. slummed with us on the weekends for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> oh, in between. No. She's got a Murrow, she's got an Emmy, and then she patted her resume with my silly weekend show when I, back, when I did that. Oh, no. Love you, Cody. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Appreciate Bye. it. Bye, Cody.